back again. So, this is what we've ended up with. A piece of board, two pipes. This is the vacuum cleaner pipe, so this is suction out, this is bees in. Um, they're a bit loose, a bit of glue, sellotape, duct tape, doesn't matter. This will be the inside of the, the box. Notice how the clear pipe sticks out slightly. So the bees under no circumstances are banging against anything. They come out the pipe and into what will be the super. And well then here we've got the vacuum pipe. Over the top of this, what I will have is a wire mesh held in place with a couple of elastic bands or a jubilee clip or something like that. So put a wire mesh there and then that will just stop the bees going into it. Okay? Over the top of this here sort of area we're going to have a much larger piece of mesh a uh, piece of 4 mil, something that we would use for the varroa tray on the bottom of the beehive something like that something quite large just to make sure that we don't end up with all the bees stuck to that little bit we have a large mesh over the top a colander a sieve anything like that nice big sieve buy a quid from the pound shop snap the handle off, stick it over the top, a couple of screws just to hold it in place. So, big area, mesh, mesh, pipe coming in. So, as you can see, it's very, very complex. Two holes, two bits of pipe in. Even a bloke can do this. So, now that we've got this, what we now need to do is we now need to actually build the V vacuum itself, which will be the next thing and I'll just go and get the bits ready. So, here we go. This is my sawhorse. You'll notice I haven't put a floor down because I can't be bothered. What I would have as a floor, this is just an ordinary WBC National Brood Box, English Chamber. So, what I would have with the floor is a piece of plywood with a 10, 15 mil high timber surround all the way around it and then at the front, the piece here for the entrance being hung in such a way that it will open and close and you can block it off because then when you put this together and we can throw some frames in inside with foundation on if you wanted to, you could put the, the full 10, 11 frames in there to, to build it up completely because what will happen is we throw a soup on the top. The reason why is this now gives us a 100 mil gap of air space for the bees to come in, for the bees then to drop down into the brood frames, out of the way, and to give them something to hold on to, rather than being just swirling around in a big void. The other thing is, it also means we have a ready-built beehive when we've finished. All we have to do is walk away, put this lot down wherever we want it, instant beehive. No having to transfer bees from one box to another box to another box. It's very messy, very complicated, and bees get very angry. So, this way, one hit, one done. That's that there. And then on top of that, we'll go our box. As you can see, it's a bit short. But anyway, so the basic chamber is like this. Bees in, bees out, vacuum pipes, etc. The super gives it an area just to move around in. Okay? And then we have the chamber below. This would be full of frames, plain foundation will do, half sheets, whatever you want to use. And it just gives it an area for the bees to go into to settle on the frames and to be out of the way. I have heard of people on this entrance pipe here, because don't forget they're not going zhoom, zhoom. They're coming out very slowly. Okay, so there's no need to have like big uh, cotton pads I've seen in some boxes where the bees have come in literally so hard to bounce. So that's one. If you're going to use a large diameter pipe, a 4 inch, 100 mil diameter pipe and a household ventilation fan, that system is exactly the same. Instead of this brown black pipe here, we would have the fan and the gauze, and of course the the wife's kitchen sieve nailed to the top of it. Shh, don't tell her. 
and then the, the bigger pipe rather than the little pipe going out to wherever the bees are. That's quite a good one if you get a tree hive. What I do with trees, you normally have a big opening, is I cling film the whole tree around that area. And then once you cling film the tree, it seals the bees in. Do it late at night. And then what you do then is you literally stuff the big hose pipe through the cling film with some duct tape and then, then that goes then down to the bee vacuum. So at the other end of the hose pipe will be our vacuum, we just plug it on, switch it on and this is the pipe that then feeds to wherever we are. Uh, mine is never much more than a couple of metres long, three or four metres at the most. The hive is right where I want it to be. And just to seal everything, all these joints here, which are quite easily, you know, so what we do there is just some duct tape, a bit of cellar tape, brown parcel tape, something like that, just around the joints, all the way around, and on the floor as well. And that just makes it a nice, easy, airtight chamber. If you're in a hurry and you haven't got that much tape, put this lot all into a big bin bag, and then just cellar tape the bin bag across the top of the lid and then that will make it a big chamber because the bin bag will just sit down onto the timber and not go anywhere. So, hopefully that has helped with you making a bee vacuum. There are alternatives to this system. So, let's go through the general thing. General plan stays the same. You must have vacuum in, bees in. You must have the two. I've explained about using household fans and I've explained about using a larger pipe rather than a smaller one. Just don't use the crinkly pipe like this because the bees will disintegrate going along it. It must be smooth or it must be very large. So 100mm um, clothes washer, dryer pipe, ventilation pipe, something like that is good or smooth clear hose pipe. Clear is good because you can see the bees going down it and you know if you've got any issues or anything like that. So that's one or the other. So we might have a few questions. Like I say, I'm using bee boxes because of the convenience of putting them together afterwards. Uh, I'm a lazy git, so it works for me. What you can use as this chamber as a whole is anything you like. Uh, favourite ones I've seen is large cardboard tubes, large plastic pipes. If you wanted to, I've seen people dealing with very big nests instead of this. What they've got on this board here is a very large one and it sits on top of a dustbin. You literally have a, a massive 40-50 litre volume area. If you wanted to, you can have an even bigger one, you can have a steel dustbin, you can have a wheelie bin. If you just had some plumbing work done, you might be able to pick up one of the small water tanks out of the lofts. They're approximately 600 mil square, cubic, uh, two foot square. Uh, they're great big things, they are so nice and light as well. All you need to do is just make a lid big enough to go over the top and then seal it with duct tape before you switch on. There are other ways you could do, you could use cardboard boxes if you wanted to, again, bin bag the outside or, or plastic take the, the joints it's not super fantastic dryness that we need it's just enough gentle vacuum to keep going it's the middle of January so this thing won't be operational for at least another 3 or 4 months so I'm not going to show it up and running with bees going down the tubes because that would mean ripping into one of my beehives at this time of year I'm not prepared to so Pete's beehive Happy New Year. I hope you have a better one than I did. Bye-bye.